So now let's just check how you read uh, what has happened there. Do you, do you see this as the action of mainstream Taliban or something absolutely barbarous and, and beyond anything we've seen before? It's been a day of shock and absolute grief for Pakistan and the grief continues to come out on television street, streets and on, on the, on, um, in print, on social media. The Taliban, the Taliban, uh, Pakistan have claimed responsibility for it. Uh, and yet uh, we have seen attacks of this nature in the recent past, most recently at the Karachi International Airport. And yet the magnitude and the scale of this attack is shocking. It has taken everybody by surprise. The very brutal and uh, uh, targeted killing of children is unprecedented. Of course, we have the case of Malala Yousafzai, but the scale and the absolute brutality of taking more than 100 children hostage in a large public school managed by the army and then singling children out on the basis of their parentage and shooting them in cold blood. This is unprecedented. But do you see this? I mean, this is such a, 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 a tragic target. I mean, an utter innocent target. Do you see this as an act of weakness by the Taliban, an act of madness, or, or an act of gathering strength and bravado? It is an act of madness, for sure. I'm not sure whether to characterize it as an act of weakness because this, the strength and the scale of the operation has been mind-boggling and it has take, certainly taken the Pakistani state by surprise. Uh, there has been talk about expected backlash from the Taliban ever since the ongoing military operation in Fatah Zerbe Asp was undertaken. But this level of unpreparedness and this level of massacre uh, is, is, is it, it shows a kind of confidence and it shows a kind of precision uh, targeting which doesn't show the Taliban to be weak. Now, we're told that the uh, Pakistani Air Force, perhaps even as we're speaking, will be visiting bombs uh, from the air on uh, known Taliban areas uh, in the northwest of Pakistan. Is there any evidence that this sort of uh, military activity has any effect on the Taliban? This certainly, today's attack in Peshawar is going to raise a lot of question marks on the ongoing military operation in Fatah. There is a lot of anger, a lot of uh, criticism, and uh, there is a lot of public pressure on the government, on the military also to explain, to come up with answers. How could, when we've been told every day in and out that the Zerbe Azwa operation has been yielding success, that we are wiping out terrorists indiscriminately, how could still such a blatant massacre take place? Amara Durrani, thank you very much indeed for joining us from Islamabad. And I do apologize for the quality of the satellite link there.